All right, in this video, we're going to look at finding the derivative of a vector function. And to do this, all we have to do is simply take the derivative of um, all of the stuff basically involving t. So we'll take the derivative of the stuff in front of i, the stuff in front of j, and the stuff in front of k. So when we take the derivative of cosine pi t, we'll get negative sine times uh, pi t, but then we'll have to take the derivative of the inside, so we'll pick up a pi. So we'll have negative pi times sine of pi times t, all of that times i. Plus, for the second part, we can use the quotient rule. So we'll get the denominator. The derivative of the numerator will just be e to the t minus the numerator uh, times the derivative of the denominator, which will be 2t, all over the denominator squared, which is t to the fourth times j. And then if we take the derivative of 4t cubed, we'll get 12t squared times k, and that's now our derivative. So I think I'm going to do maybe a, just a little bit of simplification. So we have negative pi sine of pi t times i. I guess we could factor a uh, we could factor a t out of the numerator, which would cancel out with a t in the denominator. We could even factor an e to the t out as well. So we could factor out e to the t and a t. And then in parentheses, we would have a t. And then I guess we would need a minus 2. And that's all over t to the fourth times j. And then our 12t squared, I'm just going to leave that alone. So the last thing I'm going to do is just uh, simplify this part. So negative pi times sine of pi t times i. Plus, OK, so we can cancel out the t. That'll give us t to the third in the bottom. We still have e to the t times t minus 2. All of that's being multiplied by j. Plus our 12t squared times k. And now we have our derivative. So again, nothing crazy. All we're doing is just simply taking the derivative of each little part. So um, kind of three derivative problems combined here into one.